Hey there YouTubers, All right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to update the Gigabyte Z690 Gaming X DDR4 non-Wi-Fi motherboard without installing a CPU, or GPU, or RAM, all right? So this is going to be kind of a three-part video. One, I'm going to show you how to get to the, the file, how to download it, how to rename it, how to put it on a thumb drive, okay? Second part is going to be kind of a PowerPoint uh, slide presentation. It's going to walk you through it. And then I'm going to show you a video of the uh, similar video I did for the B660. All right. I actually don't own the C690. Uh, I do have the B660, which is the same exact steps, uh, except for getting the file is going to be different, right? So, all right. Let's, uh, let's get our BIOS file first. So, search for this up here. You can put D4 in there if you want, but uh, that'll bring this up. Now, uh, we're going to click on support. Yeah, if you want to see the actual manual that provides the instructions, uh, you would click on manual. And then English on the left side, unique features introduction, okay? If you click on... Uh, download right here that'll bring this up and these are basically the steps that we're going to talk about in here okay you can tell this is written by a non-english person so it might be a little difficult for some of you to follow all right so now we want to get our bios file we click on downloads then we're going to click on bios all right folks so in case you have never done this before uh, you want the most up-to-date BIOS file, right? So uh, there's a good chance that your BIOS on your motherboard is one of these first launch release ones. Okay, this does not support 13th gen, obviously, while we're doing this. If you're watching this video and it is even June of 2023, there's a good chance this motherboard still has an older BIOS on it. Uh, if you're buying this sometime in 2024, 2025, <laughs> Hopefully you don't need to do this. Uh, hopefully you can just plug in a 13th gen and it'll work. But if it doesn't, it's worth trying this video. All right. Other thing to do, folks, read the descriptions. Make sure uh, that everything's kosher over here. You know, it may say, hey, uh, you need to update this BIOS before you do this next one. All right. Uh, but for the most part, you want the most up to date and that's cumulative. It'll give you all the stuff down here. I have, uh, you see this thing in red here? I have not had a problem with this yet. Maybe I will at some point, but uh, it has not been an issue. Either that or it was already updated on the thumb drive I used. All right, so from here, folks, we want to download this. You'll see uh, if you're using Chrome, it'll drop down to the, the bottom left. If you're Edge, it'll be up here. And regardless, it's going to show up in your downloads folder, okay? That is uh, where this actually is right here. I'll extract all. And that brings this up, okay? So, I have my folder that's unzipped. I can delete this one now. And we'll go back in here. You have to rename this file, okay? So, easiest thing to do probably is go to uh, where the manual was, just so you don't screw up the uh, spelling. Copy it, just like I'm doing. Rename. And then you do not need this at the end, all right? Are you sure you want to change it? Yes. Okay, so we're good here, folks. Um, now I'm going to take this file, I'm going to copy just that file over to my thumb drive. All right, paste that in there. Now, highly important thing here, this is a USB 2.0 and it is formatted folks to FAT32. All right, that is essential to make this work. Um, I've tried a couple of USB 3.0s. They did not give them the ability to do FAT32. So 
I didn't bother to Google this. Maybe it's not even possible with uh, USB 3.0, but worth your time probably to go buy a USB 2.0 off Amazon, all right? We'll talk about that a little bit more in the future. Now, if this doesn't work, you would then, um, if you have it formatted the wrong thing, but you do have USB 2.0, Make sure you don't have any other files on here. Like I have a ton of uh, files under here. Um, make sure your drive is completely empty of stuff you care about. And then you would format. Click on format and tell it you want to format to FAT32. All right. Then copy your file over and rename it. All right. Well, excuse me. Uh, I said that wrong. In here rename your file like we did, and then copy it over, okay, after you format it. So from here, folks, let's go to our PowerPoint, all right? Now, to update this BIOS, the things you're going to need, uh, we were talking about the thumb drive, USB 2.0. You need a power supply. That power supply must have a power cable, and it must have the 24-pin power connector that powers up the motherboard all right and then you need your uh, z690 motherboard we already talked about this ensure that your thumb drive is formatted to fat32 make sure that you've downloaded the file uh, make sure you've renamed the file now now that we've done this stuff folks this is where you're going to set up your motherboard okay I've previously done this, but you do not need the CPU power connector hooked up, okay? So I uh, put an X through that. You see no CPU in here, no graphics card, no RAM, okay? This is the 24-pin power connector. Here's your Z690 motherboard, all right? It is, you're only going to plug in the 24-pin power here, all right? Once you do that, Turn on the power, okay, and not only is it plugged into the wall, but make sure that this is in this position, okay? This is the on position of the power supply. Now that you've done that, folks, your USB 2.0 drive formatted FAT32 with the file renamed, all right, to Gigabyte DIN or bin, whatever it said, you can now plug that into the dedicated BIOS USB 3.2. Now this is the actual Gaming X Z690, okay? Uh, if you happen to have the Wi-Fi version, there are uh, antennas right here, okay? So from there, you are going to click on the BIOS update button on the motherboard, blown up here. And that's going to blink for... Um, I guess it's actually six to eight minutes. All right. I think it actually takes over over that. I'm going to say nine minutes. Um, so that's going to flash for six to nine minutes. And then it's going to shut off. Okay. So that won't blink anymore. There should be another light somewhere over here that stays on then eventually that's going to shut off, and then your power supply is going to shut off, all right? Uh, then you know it's updated. Now, I'm going to show you a video, and I'm going to edit this so that uh, you guys don't see the correct quality. But uh, you're going to see this actually uh, updated, all right? So um, from here, you'll see. Now, things in the video that you don't need, folks, You don't need a uh, a power switch either, okay? And like I said, you also don't need that uh, CPU power connector hooked up. So right here, you see this thing flashing, all right? And from here, I'm going to uh, basically splice in the, the video that uh, shows you know how this how this goes down and the end of it. Keep in mind, once again, this is the B660 motherboard shown and not the Z690. 
Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you. So our setup, 24 pin power connector plugged in there. Then we need to put our thumb drive in. Okay, and it's got to go in the USB BIOS one. And so there's that. Now, uh, power supply needs to be switched on like that is plugged in. And then let's go ahead and hit our little button. Now let me turn this off. So this should take six to eight minutes if it actually works. Okay. There's a light here. The light just came on. Power supply is on. And oh, it's flashing folks. Do you see that? So it is actually working. This is going to take six to eight minutes. So, um, once that is done, you may um, install your 13th gen CPU or uh, 12th gen, maybe an i9-12900KS or 13th gen, but uh, this is the process. So FAT32, rename the file, but uh, yeah, it's, it's looking good. I will um, pause this until this thing is complete. Not that you're going to see anything, but the light's off. It's probably going to turn completely off, right? We're still flashing after about four minutes. I can say we're about six minutes into it and still flashing. Voila, folks. It is done. That light is still on. PSU is still on. I would assume this is going to shut off at some point. We're going to uh, leave it on for a few more minutes at least see if it does not only will it stop flashing that light will turn off the PSU will turn off and you're good to go ready for a 13th gen without a CPU uh, 